Uh, we are a tiny bit late. I do apologize. But after Noodle and I went out, I didn't sleep too well last night. And then Noodle and I went out for pizza today. We didn't end up seeing a movie or anything. We talked about it. But uh, there just wasn't anything. There were a couple things that I wanted to see. But, like, nothing that I wanted to see bad enough to pay the amount of money they wanted <laughs> either. So we just we went and got pizza, came home, uh, ate pizza, and watched a movie together. It was really nice. But since I got up a little bit early to do that and didn't sleep too well last night, I was very tired. So I took a nap. I needed a longer nap. But it is what it is. Also, hello to YouTube, if I didn't already say that. So, yeah, that's why I'm a little bit late. But we're here now. Let's play some Final Fantasy 16. Maybe. There we go. The Wages of Guilt. We have side missions to unlock, didn't we? No, I guess not. I thought some side quests were going to unlock since they had the whole... Like, whenever we got into this area, they told us, oh, like, yo, so if you see this sign now, eh? above any NPCs, then they have side quests that just can't be done yet. And I was like, oh, okay, so obviously, they're going to unlock some new side quests for us now. But no. Oh, so wait, did Sid bring back? What's her name, Benedicta? Blackthorn. What do you want? Glad I'm still allowed to use this. Um, Stormcry. That's new. So spurred by her cries, did Wind become Storm? Is there like a reinforce for that or anything? No. Oh, see, I'm worried about making it <laughs> because we only have the one Wind Shard, and I don't imagine we're really gonna get any more Wind Shards. But it is also better than the best thing we have right now. So I kind of want to. But I think we're going to hold off on it for the moment. Check the shop if it doesn't trigger the mission. Ooh, sneak around here. Okay. And what do you want? Hello. Weighing you down. So you don't. Oh, you do have something new. The gold work sash. Surprised that wasn't available to build. To forge. While it is the rarity and luster of gold that makes it the standard of wealth in the realm, the alchemist covets it for a less known third quality, ethereal conductivity. Unlike most metals, gold has the innate ability to channel either and amplify its effects, making it invaluable for those who wish to extract the full potential from a crystal or bearer. Fancy. Battle chains. That's new, too. When worn by a skilled combatant, the twin chains wrapped around these otherwise simple bucklers we use to ensnare enemy blades, providing the defender with precious moments in which to deliver unhindered counterattacks. Again, weird that it's not available. And the Breath of Wind is available to buy. That's new. It's expensive. I'm going to go ahead and buy one high potion at least. Are you alright now, Clive? You're not going to go mad again, are you? I hadn't gone mad. I was just kind of possessed. Gods, it's a wonder we didn't feel it here. Just walk over this way a little bit. There's a cave in from the fight. The lime didn't work, and not did the straw. I'll have to try something else. Honestly, it's a miracle there's, like, any cities still standing. Because it seems like these powers just kind of move on to whoever they want, dude. Even if they didn't, like, just takes one person to lose their temper and... Then damn. Bam, I mean, everything's gone, like... Ah, back on your feet, are you? Yee. Make sure you stay that way. I have enough to worry about without you deciding to do yourself a mischief. Ah, back on your mm -hmm. feet, are you? Make sure you stay there. I thought I had escaped them, but the royal army may be at our gates ere long. No worries, lady. Apparently, I can kill anything, so. <laughs> and if I can't, then I know someone who can. He's a little bit bigger and a little bit scarier, but he'll get rid of them. No worries, dude. I want to check out the the books. Clive, wasn't it? I heard you got locked up. Ah, 
Fair enough. Anything you can tell me, book dude. Well, not tell me, but show me. Or perhaps. Clive tells Hippocrates about his stuff. Now this, I believe you will find most interesting. Aegis? Aegis? Dating back to antiquity, the term Aegis has historically been used to describe the ethereal entities that can be conjured by dominance. Aegis are capable of casting potent magics corresponding to the el elemental alignment of their creators. Though unquestionably formidable, they will fade immediately should the dominant who gave them being happen to be slain. Charada, an ethereal conjuration summoned forth by Benedicta. Do, 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 do. Despite the size of the creature's heavily feathered wings do not seem to hamper its movement, which was dis disconcertingly nimble. More so than speed, though, it was Chirada's array of powerful magics that set apart from lesser foes. What makes it different from Suparna? The ethereal creation of Benedicta Harmon, dominant wind, when summoned and cared Norman alongside her twin Chirada, the pair worked in tandem to attempt to overwhelm Sid and Clive, wielding a panoply of potent magics and deadly aerial assaults. Those are some words you don't see too often. The Valisthean Calendar. The dating system used throughout the Twins, which marks the year of the realm, that have passed since the signing of the Continental Accord some 800 years ago. The centuries since, nations have risen and fallen, and the concord between them has faltered, but the calendar persists. But you're not gonna... You're not gonna tell us how the calendar works, though? Like, <laughs> you're gonna tell us what the calendar is, but not tell us anything about it? That's weird, dude. A, f a fire aspected icon that first emerged in the year of the realm 860 when Imperial forces attacked the Rosarian stronghold of Phoenix Gate. Clad in infernal flame, the fiendish feature, feature creature flung itself against the Phoenix, overpowering the icon with a strength and ferocity never seen before. Its re reappearance was to usher in a second shocking revelation that its dominant was none other than Clive Rosfield. Hmm, the Knight of Flames. Is that what they call the attack? Yeah. Ramu, the Warden of Thunder. Mm -mm -mm. Known the Rome over as a symbol of judgment, no doubt inspired by its sage, Mien. And the scepter with which it summons its leaven bolts. Folklore has it not only our dominance Ramu blessed with the command of lightning, they are also granted a deeper understanding of the true nature of the world. What about Garuda? Hidden Truths. The Warden of the Wind, who Benedicta transformed into during her ill-fitted flight from the Empire, it takes the form of a fearful harpy, summoning storm and tearing into the flesh of its prey with hawk-like talons. Its dominant is most often born among the descendants of the Motes of Wind, an ancient tribe that once dwelled in the land spanning the Strait of Otha, what is now the Crystalline Dominion. <laughs> okay. We have a surprising amount of the bestiary filled out, unless it may be the case that it only goes up to whatever the highest creature you've discovered is. That's a possibility. Okay. Welcome, Clive. Enough of all that. I don't know if there's any real benefit to, like, whenever you give him new information, your scholar level goes up or whatever. Just like how if we go into the menu here and look at Torgul... Torgal has like different what do they call it? Do they call it like pedigree or something? Where was it? There it is. Yeah, pedigree. Pedigree affects Torgal's attack potency and increases as Torgal accompanies Clive in battle. Yeah. So like I don't know if maybe somehow increasing our intelligence will help us in some way, or not our intelligence, but the book stuff. Hmm. I haven't actually played around with the camera mode at all yet. Lower. Raise, rotate, roll field of view, hide or show Clive, depth of field, focal distance. Oh, uh, so that's if you have, uh, very fancy. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I've never really been one into camera modes. I think they're neat. I'm glad they're included in games, but I never really use them. All right, let's continue the story, dude. 
Hello, Sid. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, you'll have a bit of fight left in you. Then listen. I've arranged. Oh no, to... Noodle. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up the scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Poor Gav, dude. I know he's going to end up dying or something, man. I fully expect this game to just go all Game of Thrones on us. I see I'm busy here. What do you want? Anything else? I was just curious if we can make that gold sash or whatever and whatever that other one was. Or not, but it doesn't look like it. Um. So odd there's no new side quest yet something I've been wondering okay so right now it won't let us like free room anywhere we want but I wonder like when it does will we also find new side missions randomly at these po these places I'm gonna guess yeah oh shit I didn't, <laughs> I didn't mean to close the world map I'm going to guess yes but I'm really not sure we haven't found any, like, side quests of note yet. Just really simple ones, you know? To take the food from the cook to the patrons type stuff. King's Fall's pretty. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Dude's all about his shortcuts, man. <laughs> Still feeling sorry for yourself? Think about it, Klein. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gab. But we both know that... No buts about it. I mean, I get him being upset, though, man. That's some pretty heavy news he figured out. Like, he's either controlled by, possessed by, whatever, some dark god that he, that murdered his brother. Like, oh, we can pet Torgal now. Good, What's boy. up, buddy? Ah, <laughs> good puppy. You're gonna get more bits, but you're only like four dollars away from ten fifty. You can wait, love. I, I do appreciate it, but we sent Gav on a wild goose chase. Might as well get the best deal possible, right? What's up, Nate? Welcome, sir. I see spiders. Are we just jumping down? Is there a path here I'm not seeing? I guess we're just jumping down. <laughs> right. Into the thick of it. Black Widows at that, huh? These are some giant Black Widows, dude. The music is awfully serene for, you know, what we're dealing with right now.
50 is like 19.99, you have 14.01, so 6-ish away, yeah, it's just under 6. So if you want to wait, dude, that's fine, I get it, love. No need to rush. Did I say what's up, Nate? I'm pretty sure I did. If I didn't, then again, what's up, Nate? <laughs> How you doing today, man? You doing good? Enjoying your uh, your day, your day? I'm assuming you're not working today. Well, I mean, you might be door dashing or something. I did, look, I'm still half asleep at the moment. I'm very forgetful. I do apologize, but... You are indeed dashing? I figured as much. Is it going well today? Good day of dashing? Getting some orders? Is that a troll? No. A minotaur? A fat minotaur? Let's go. Stickers for bits ATM? <laughs> God. Okay, he's a beastman. Not a fat minotaur. My bad. He just looks like a fat minotaur. Get taken down, my guy. My one problem with gouge is that if you stop hitting, it seems to cut gouge short. But it also, like, gouge in and of itself has no defensive ability. So I end up taking a lot of damage every time I use it, which... I mean, isn't great. And I'm still of the opinion that the jumping off of enemies and doing the downward slash is not worth it. It looks kind of cool, but like, how much damage does it actually do, you know? A couple hundred, maybe? Like, I did not mean to use a potion. Son of a bitch. I wanted to tell the doggy to heal me. I've seen one complaint of Final Fantasy 16 that I actually agree with so far, and that's that the game really isn't an RPG, man. <laughs> like, you do technically get stronger. You have no control over your... You're getting stronger or anything, though. Right, you do equip things. Uh, that's a, an RPG style mechanic, I guess. But, like, there's no character or party customization that really matters. I, it's it's a very light RPG game. I guess it's just like a, it's a very modern style RPG game almost, you know? Because it seems like a lot of games these days incorporate very light RPG mechanics. And that's kind of what this is like. Come on, get wrecked. It's still very good. It's still a very fun game. But I'm starting to wonder if it's really a Final Fantasy game. I don't know. The verdict is still out on that one for me personally. I mean, it's very high fantasy, which is very Final Fantasy, but... We took a lot of damage in that fight. And the perfect little shortcut set. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. It's good practice, dude. Keeps you strong, fighting off the bloodthirsty beasts. And how else would you get these absolutely stunning views, dude? Like, could you imagine that rock right over there? Actually, it looks like where we're about to jump to right here. Oh, this is where we fought the spiders. I think, yeah, I'm going the wrong direction. But could you imagine, like, just setting up a tent here, right? Like, tent right here, campfire right over here on the water's edge. Having that waterfall there, that waterfall there. Uh, two more over there. Like, dude. That would be a stunning place just to chill. Build my house right there, man. These cliffs are, like, very sharply cut. 
Okay, another waterfall for real? <laughs> I want to see the map of the rivers in this area, man. How are there rivers there, there, uh, there, the one that all of this is feeding into, and wasn't there another one like on the other side of it over there? And there's another one up there. I, I this does not make any sense. I'm starting to think the water flow isn't very uh, realistic, man. I'm starting to think they put them all in here just to make it look pretty. Just want to go for a ride down the waterfall. <laughs> Mm -mm. Can't be much further now. Kind of what it looked like outside earlier. <laughs> well, on my way home. The weather report's been saying forever that it's going to storm, but just keeps getting pushed back. It's like on our way home, it was sunny as hell. But then there was just a dark patch of clouds with some light rain, not super heavy rain or anything. Oh man, I completely missed. Good job, just stop. Freaking hornets, dude. Get him, boy. Actually, if we do Ravage, ground enemies he'll knock up, but flying enemies he actually knocks down. Yeah, there we go. He'll help us out, dude. Torgal is the true hero of the game. It's a good thing we bought that potion, man. Probably should have bought two and said just the one, though. Mm -mm -mm. Geronimo? Hey, speaking of potions, thanks, game. Another beastman! We're gonna get our a Oh, and other enemies! Good! Ow. <laughs> We're gonna get fucked by the beastmen. Called it. I just wanna get rid of the little dude so I can focus on him. Oh god. Okay, potion it up. Actually, just high potion. Damn, dude. Bruh. <laughs> At least we have this serene music to keep us calm while we're dying. <laughs> Come on, go down. Thank you. Right in the nuts, man. And he's only halfway there. God, dude, we are so close to death. We have no health left. 
rather no way of healing left really just a couple basic potions Oh, buddy. This is where we're going to end up dying at. We need to start making better use of stone skin so we just take less damage. We might end up having to use that high potion. Noodle would love that bridge, dude. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> what is it, boy? After him! Don't let him escape! Is this when it happens? Who goes there? This one's a dessert. Take his head out of my way. You made your choice. We're going to get there like just too late to save Gav, dude. See, this is some battle music, dude. This makes more sense. It's over. Well, hello there. It's a dragoon. And a wyvern. Good. Good shit. There he is. Don't let him and soldiers. Oh, God, dude. Our guy, Sidolphus. Clive, what's the situation? You're late. The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? <laughs> I'll take the dragon. Just zap him, my guy. That's what you should do. That Chad has no death flags. <laughs> Uh, I need to heal. Oh, well, <laughs> I was too busy looking at chat to, to fucking heal. Okay, well. <laughs> First death, it happens. Oh, hey. Oh, dude, and we get a full heal? So other than maybe like an achievement for winning without continues. There's no real punishment, it doesn't seem like, for death. Honestly, I don't mind. I wonder, is the Dragoon small enough to be grabbed by Death Embrace? No. My god, dude. Dragoon be quick. Oh. I didn't mean to switch to you, but since I'm here... Dick. Don't let them get 
God, for real? I was too high because the arrow took us up, dude. That's, uh, or not arrow, but whatever the name of that ability is. Oh, wait, for real? Holy shit. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, death is actually kind of OP. <laughs> Dragoons, dude. How long is this gonna go on for? You gotta come down at some point. <laughs> there we go, Sid. You're still standing? Go down, you dick. Oh, my God. GG. Imperial Link, I think that's new. Many have tendered explanation to how such Imperial Dragoons are able to leap such an absurd height. From the power of prayer to a strict diet of hair, toad, and crickets, but none save the knights themselves. How the truth. Know the truth. Ugh. Whatever the secret is, plain that heavy plate would only prove a hindrance, and so the Empire equips the Dragoons with armored forged from lighter than linen mithril. This link is part of a vest that would have been worn beneath the breastplate. So how are we supposed to make a whole suit of armor from two chains of it, dude? Or two links of it? Come on. I'm sure we'll figure out a way. We have an amazing smith. I didn't know Sid was a dragoon, dude. He got hops like one. Grab him, dude. <laughs> Too freaking close. That has to hurt on that arm, though. The one that's cut. He lives for another day. Ugh. <laughs> 
<laughs> what a dick. Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes... There's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible and kill yourself if he's not. <laughs> Just fucking said, dude. For See, real? <laughs> I, well, thank me. Thank God. Thank you, Gav. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> no birds returning this year. I like Sid too, yeah, dude. Sid's so sick. I like a lot of the characters. We're running out of time. What color hair is that? Is that blonde? We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. Let's go. <laughs> he must be stopped. It's Roxas. <laughs> Is that older Joshua? I kind of feel like that's older Joshua. Hmm. He must be stopped. So would he be talking about us? Spitting great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. Oh, dude, I completely forgot about Jill and all this. Holy hell. Go to her, you fool. I would be completely lost if not for Sid. Right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. That's easy to do. <laughs> There was just so much going on, man. Like, Jill wasn't even on my mind. Alright, nothing new. That I care about, at least. Can we interact with the Moogle in any way? They even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. 
Well, here I am, so drink it in, Koopo. Oh. He knows his stuff, but what he doesn't know is that Nectar the Bold is no ordinary Moogle. Clive. You understand Moogleton? So it would seem. Finally! <laughs> Koopo. I've been trying to talk to these people ever since the winds carried me here, but none of them understand a word I say. That sounds... Palm calm against a brink wall. Okay. Now you're here. My palm palm's safe at last. You can hear me. You can actually hear me, Koopo. Hmm. I hope we can, like, do something with the Koopo eventually. Healed. Yes. Tayo told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Phoenix Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave no choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or to see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominant. What? What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again. Not long ago, the second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night. Good man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Swansies. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, 
and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. What's wrong with the clothes she's wearing? I'll I mean, I guess they're a bit dirty, but like... Life. Bruh, everybody's a bit dirty right now. <laughs> Maybe it's too... Too obvious? New items. Dope. Sid home. Who are you? You're not Sid. Can we steal any of Sid's stuff? No. Lame. Alright, what's the next side quest going to be? We deliver more soup. <laughs> it's for the same guy, possibly. What's up, Kenneth? Ah, Clive. I trust you're settling in? Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself... I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? Let's go, dude. Give me the I'd soup. Be happy to help. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. This really is just like the most freaking MMO side quests I've ever seen, man. <laughs> like, hey, deliver soup to people in this peaceful town where there's absolutely no trouble you could run into at the moment. Like, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> Something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. We even have to select oh, it <laughs> to hand it to These her, like are needy creatures. They don't like me running after the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. It's a decent way to learn about people and places, though. I'll give him that. Now the guard of the jail... Sure, he'll be happy to see us again. Back so soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Can they send me? He thought you might be hungry. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? As long as I don't turn into a giant fire god of death again anytime soon, I don't think we'll have any problems. If I do, though, no promises, man. <laughs> Can I help you? Can it send me? Ah, wonderful. 
Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. I think that's everyone. But like Kenneth Happy to help you. <laughs> Happy to help my guy. Teach Clive a little kindness while we're at it. Alright, Kenneth. Deliver the food. Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Here. Your reward. As promised. Yeah, I totally didn't just run around the corner and eat all three hearty meals for myself. Quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. I do see it as, uh... Just like a convenient way to convince... Clive to stay, like to give him a reason to stay here. Because, of course, initially he was so against it. And by doing these little side quests, we go closer to the people of the little town here, the little community, which gives us good reason to stay with them. You, newcomer, I need help. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil. And I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you. Will you go and check? I have to know. Do you know where by any chance? Because right. that would be pertinent information. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwick. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps, but the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. No worries. I'll find your lady. I'm going to stop by the shops and the forges real quick. I'm sure you won't mind. <laughs> you don't seem to be worried sick or anything. Oh, I guess I won't talk to her. <laughs> I didn't realize she was the next uh, quest objective. What do you want? Gaia Blade. Hmm. It's a lot better than Stormcry. Why? Why would we want to make Stormcry when it's so close to what we had before? I wonder if does it have a special ability or something? Hmm. Oh, we can make the gold work sash now. I mean, we don't have the stuff for it, but we can. Like, we have the recipe and the battle chains. Uh... For this side mission, I don't think we need anything. I'm just gonna go do the side quest. Then we'll consider upgrading some equipment later. On the outskirts of Lost when you say. So wait, does that symbol mean... Oh, that's handy. Moving heavens are... Okay, 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 okay. So that's the closest one to where we're going. Can we get that map for like everywhere? That's pretty cool. Oh, shit. I almost traveled to the wrong place. Here.
Let's find the lady. Real quick before we do that, though, I'm just going to stand up, stretch my legs for a minute, and turn down the AC because I'm a little bit warm. It's not that it's that hot in here. It's just so freaking humid, dude. So, BRB. Will be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission. Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well... About two years ago, a certain Soviet scientist requested asylum in the West through one of our moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. He's head of the OKB-754 Design Bureau, one of the Soviet's top secret weapon research facilities, and the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov? Isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned space flight in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket oh. that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok. There we go. Alright. Yeah, like, I had the AC set to 68, and I checked with the little thermometer that I have in here, and, like, it's not... It's 68 degrees in here. It's working properly, but God, man, it just feels hot. It's like, calm Someone's down. I have to collect the stuff, dude. So does the stuff respawn every time you visit a place? Because if that's the case, then it really isn't worth ever, like, exploring. <laughs> I don't want to believe it, but like, because those things I'm I'm fairly certain weren't on the main road before. Also, can I say for a moment how thankful I am that all these trellises you can just walk through; they don't have collision. Probably because you're by your computer and it's hot over there. No, I mean I was sitting on the chair. I was sitting right here when I checked with the thermometer. Like, I checked the floor. The floor was 67 something. And I checked the ceiling. The ceiling was 69 something. So, here in the, the, the halfway point, it should be roughly 68. Like, like, it's not that hot or anything. It's just, man. Maybe I'm just having hot flashes. I just got that menopause going. bastard really that wasn't enough to kill a spider <laughs> valley matter sharp fangs thank you thank you It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, mm. and fragrant. Right. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. Why not just collect so, it together and then escort her back? There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? I mean, they're growing a bunch of stuff here. You would think it would be decent.
That, are we really just gonna take back like four handfuls? You didn't bring like a couple bags along or anything for us to collect this stuff into? Is that a, oh no, that's a crystal. Thought it was a blue dot, something I could collect. So now that we're here, did it update with new quests or anything? Nope. Okay. Right Onward then. Guess we probably got to go on the bridge, eh? <laughs> and get stuck on it, apparently. Yes, and... Yes. I'm gonna talk to Gab since we saved him. How you doing? area this time to pick up some supplies. Never can get him to sit still. Rosaria to pick up supplies. Awfully convenient, seeing as how that's where you said the dominant was going. There you are. And all safe and sound. <laughs> Bring it. Uh, yes. Here. Rich loamy earth gathered from the vineyards of Gotland's bales. Hmm. It's loamy. That's Glorious. what I look for in my dirt. When Martel came home empty handed, I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... That's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. Should have made I him pay it. You some fruit too, but you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. He's the one that sent us, and the one that said there would be a reward in it for us. A reward of 18 experience. Okay, we got stuff too. It's like, <laughs> really? <laughs> no, we got bloody hides, sharp fangs, and some more valley matter. Okay. All right, Caron, what you got for us? What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. Were we supposed to be buying something here? <laughs> I mean, the new sword is nice, but it's like... It's such an incremental upgrade. And I know as soon as this mission is complete, there's going to be another incremental upgrade we could get instead. So I'm tempted to just... Not... What's with the dark sash? 
Otherworldly luster complements the silky smooth texture of the sash. A sash dyed a black so deep it might drive a man to madness, not render him slightly more inconspicuous in a darkened room. Does it actually help, like, our stealth or something? Because why would we want that over the gold work one? Oh, the dark sash is the old one. That's what we're currently wearing. Okay. I was like, hold up, dude. <laughs> it's just worse in every way. Well, yeah, because it's older, you dumbass. See what we can get at the uh, at the smith first. If we have a lot of extra crafting materials, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll craft something. Well, what you want? I'm still not sold on Stormcry though. Gaia Blade plus one. It is a twenty point upgrade. Wireite Minotaur main. That's tiny. That's tiny. Okay, the Gaia Blade's pretty big. I'm going to go ahead and make that. Good while. And then, do we have enough to upgrade it? We do. You can find me later. Yeah, that was a 30-point upgrade. That was pretty decent. Anything else? Mine's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. And not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Ooh, look how fancy. Ready, my lady. Ready. Why'd they give her all these fancy clothes, though, when everybody else is dressed in, like, super basic stuff? <laughs> it doesn't make a ton of sense. Three reeds. Rising waters transformed once fertile farmland into a noisome morris, rendering it nigh uninhabitable, uninhabitable to help but leeches and lizards. Are we going to fight some giant-ass leeches, dude? I'm okay with it if we do. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Just imagining a leech so large instead of just like sticking to you to suck out your blood, they like on your head just chomp. <laughs> Rosaria, it's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Branded, keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. But mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back.
I don't quite know why, but Jill looks older to me than what she's meant to be. When we were kids, she appeared to be like in between Joshua and Clive. So I'm guessing probably around like 13-ish. It's been about 13 years, so she's like what, 25, 26? Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Good cover. It's almost like he's thought about this before. Are we going to steal power from her at some point, just to add to our repertoire? Look at the cues on this one. Explains why there's a premium on Imperial. Maybe I should up your rations, build you up a bit. But you'd love another bottle of mouth instead. Bro, can we fight that thing, or is it just a passive creature? No. Well, my, my, I mean, it might be passive, but it's not passive. Look at the face on it, dude. That's like some nightmare fuel. It's got like an anteater snout thing on it. He's going to hit us. Oh, we got him. Okay. Got a lot of health, dude. I mean, big creature makes sense. Okay, I mean, <laughs> I guess, I guess I don't really know what I expected for a move called fucking bull, but. Come on, get him staggered before he hits us. Let's go. It's close though, dude. Black blood. Can we make some sausage? Or is it pudding? Blood, blood. Which one's made with... Black blood sausage? I know blood pudding's a thing. Or... And sausage, for that matter. But isn't one of them called, like, black blood something? I don't know. I guess some giant crayfish? Bro, imagine if crayfish were this large in real life. Or just animals in general were this large in real life. Like, <laughs> meat for days off of a single crawfish. Are these evil? Yeah. Death Blossom, they sound friendly. A skill from them, really. Thought we'd get like some petals or something that we could use for crafting. What are those? More crayfish? Yeah. Stuck on a bush. Where's. I'm not trying to fight the antelope, dude. Everybody else is over here fighting this thing. And the game's trying to convince me to go fight an antelope. Oh, well, the antelope came over on their own. Are you mean? Maybe mean wasn't the right word, but... Oh wait, was Torgo over here fighting these? So it's kind of split, I guess.
Oh, sorry, antelopes. My dog was hungry. <laughs> Take that level up too. Thanks, game. Wonder what the max is. I'm assuming 99. Pretty standard for Final Fantasy games. We haven't checked our abilities in a while. How many? 1775. Let's go. This is what I've been waiting for. Massive pillar of fire that burns all enemies caught within the flames. What's it upgrade do? Increase no or no? Wait. Oh, it doesn't go straight to mastery. This one. It actually like upgrades. It's got tiers. A couple of them do. I didn't realize that. Okay. Increased number of hits allows assignment to any icon for mastery. That's neat, I guess. Does it change the element of it? How does that... Now I'm going to have to do one just so I know. Is that all of them? Yeah. Wait. Mastery, no, just distance. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't leave. I need to actually equip it. Um, instead of heat wave, I think. Do I not equip it here? Must be gear and icons. Yeah, here we go. Try swapping you out with Flames of Rebirth. Now we just gotta find some poor creature to... Trap in a fire volcano. For testing. Oh, here we go. Some flowers! Perfect! <laughs> yep. Okay. That works pretty well. I'm assuming it has a really long recharge time, though. And I w can't help but wonder how well the uh, the healing ability works with it. We need to take a couple hits to see. The Whispering Waters? Right, I know we've discovered and been told... That exploration's basically pointless, but I can't can't help it. What is the Whispering Waters? Is there a secret boss over here, maybe? Because this is the perfect place for, like, a secret boss, dude. If not now, then at least later. No way there's just crawfish over here, right? Maybe it'll be like a side quest location later. Anything else gonna like spawn, jump over these rocks here and try to murder us? No? It's a bit of a letdown. <laughs> I just... This is like such a wide open area. It'd be perfect for like... A, a king crawfish, you know, like <laughs> eight times the size of the little ones that just climb over those rocks and absolutely destroy us. They never finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. They ever talk about the bridge? Hmm, no. Stop and give me an hand. Here, you couldn't give me an hand, could you? Typical. 
bloody bearer. Just when I thought my luck had changed. Do you yeah. want the help or not, Dick? I'm a crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. We just backhand him. <laughs> Earth must have caught away from my car. <laughs> now they've got me surrounded. Yeah, it's running late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Might as well. I'm going there anyways. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I and Gosh, the greens. Something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. Yeah, okay. Obviously don't know me too well. I mean, I suppose you wouldn't. It's our first time meeting and all, but like... <laughs> instantly runs the wrong direction. Dude just standing there like, what the fuck? My stuff's not even going to get delivered, is it? Can't just, like, scare the birds off. Oh, wait, there is a section we can go to over there. Hold on. It's not here, right? No, okay. Back farther. Back here. Aha! Almost missed it. It's probably going to be, like, three gill. Oh, three bloody hides. Close. And some goblins. What's up, goblins? Here, hit me. Okay, so it's not much health that we get back. Maybe at, like, higher levels it will be or something. But, it I mean, it's something, though. I'm not mad about it. Bastard. The ability is really cool. Seems like it's going to be basically just for crowd control, though. I mean, I'll probably still use it against big guys because, I mean, abilities and ability, it does damage more than a simple sword strike, I presume. got a long stagger gauge, don't you? Or a big one. Technically, you should wait to do abilities until, like, right before the stagger gauge is done. Because you slowly build up the multiplier, the damage multiplier. Bone necklace. Briar clamshells. That's new. I wonder what we'll use clamshells to make. And a chest! Ten sharp fangs. Let's go, dude. Were the goblins just collecting sharp fangs? <laughs> like, why we got a chest of fangs over here? I, mean, I guess people collect, like, shark tooths and things. Or teeth in real life. So having some sharp fangs just laying about in the chest somewhere, not that weird. Ignition? No. What is ignition? I don't think that's... Heat wave, scarlet cyclone, rising flame. Oh, are you talking about for the sword? Is that what the sword... No, that's called burning blade. 
I don't think I have that unlocked yet. Like the ability to get it. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Misremembering when it's unlocked, I'm assuming. Because there are these things, but. <laughs> okay. So keep an eye out for something called ignition. <laughs> I want to stand, like, right in the middle of these guys, and then... Boom. That worked pretty well. Wait, was that everybody? It was. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, you thought it was after Garuda. I'm curious, like, the sword that you can make from the, uh... The drop, I can't remember what it's called, but the drop you got from Garuda. Like, it's not that good. <laughs> Is it worth making it? I assume there's nothing else you can do with that crafting material, but... I've skipped it for now, like... While I wait to figure that out. So the antelopes are actually passive. If I hadn't hit them first... They would have just ran away. Oh. So, like, you make the one from the Garuda one, and then whatever the next icon we fight is. Okay. I got you. Interesting. It's weird that they wouldn't just do that with, like, the equipment they give you, right? Because right after that one, it gave me the ability to craft this sword that I'm using. The I don't remember if it's the Bastard Sword or what it was called, but... And it's just so much better. It's, like, 25 points stronger. <laughs> than the, the Garuda one. confusing section of map. So you don't really have to craft to have decent strength? I, I guess. I'm not knocking it. It just seems like the wrong choice. <laughs> Although it may play in, because I'm assuming they probably have some sort of Ultima or Ultimate Weapon or something like that in this game. Uh, like they do most Final Fantasy games, so it might play into that somehow. But either way, I, I presume there's no harm in not crafting it right away, so I think I'm just going to hold off for now. <laughs> I'm so close to not getting hit by him. GG, sir. Should collect the meat, take it back to the hideaway. That'd be enough to feed the entire village for at least a day or two. I really like the environments they did, though. 
They are very pretty. A little confusing though. What? <laughs> Where am I going? How do I get out of here? There it is. Do you used to play in like Final Fantasy 15 where you can just run through basically everything unless it's really thick brush? Or I guess deep water as well, but like, yeah. <laughs> uh, rest. Let's just go. No, okay, it stops like at the water's edge. Ooh, there's a bridge though. Hello, bridge. And some bees. Killer bees. Do you ever get a ride a chocobo in this game? I thought you would get to, but I'm surprised that's not what they use to get from place to place, especially since, like, there are the chocobos at the stables and stuff. I'm not sure which question you're talking about. <laughs> Do we ever get a... No, like, I'm actually curious. Do we ever get a ride chocobos in this game? Is that something you've come across yet? Because, like, they're everywhere. I would think you would get to, but... I haven't got a ride one yet. You do. Okay. Okay. So, I presumed you would. I was just surprised with as much traveling as we've done... That we haven't been on the back of one yet. Ah, soon actually. Okay, nice. Always forget about the lunge. And the charged magic. Ah! There you go. When you charge the magic, it turns into Aurora or F Fira or I, I presume Faraga if you upgrade it again. Mini quest with plus sign should be your priority. Okay. I don't think we've come across any with plus signs yet. Oh, shit. This is... Oh, shit. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay. I didn't realize this was the way to Martha's Rest. I thought... Oh, I guess you can just go either way. Okay. Well... Back to the stables, then. I don't suppose we can shoot them from over here, can we? No. Yeah, no. Must have some sort of rule. Like, if you can't find pathfind to something, you can't fight it. Seriously, that water looks pretty still, though. We could, we could cross that. All right, quickly then, back up around. I'm gonna turn in the side quest. Got to get these. You can't warp strike over curbs. <laughs> Final Fantasy 15 was, yeah, the same, man. I noticed I had the same problem with this earlier um, as the Final Fantasy 15 thing. Or, no, it was yesterday. Do we take him in? I'm He's with someone. Look, it's with his master. Yeah, chill, dude. Uh, anyways, I forget what it was. There was something small that was in my way, and I just could not warp over it, even though I barely clearly should have been able to and it annoyed the hell out of me 
minor you annoyance, but still. I was asked to deliver this to you. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Or is that fool of a peddler got to? Oh, yeah. No, I've I've beat 15. I've never completed it. Like, done every side thing there is to do, but I've beat 15. Sounds about right. I've just never re-beat it on PC. Meant to. A couple times, but haven't. These are greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight... The smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. Is that the one with, like, the, uh, the platforming sections? Like, you gotta fly... Take the flying, uh, can't remember the name of the car now, for some reason. Regalia. You got to take, like, the flying Regalia up into the mountains and land it or whatever. No. <laughs> I know of it, but I haven't done it. <laughs> like I said, I've never completed the game, but I have, I have finished it. I've done all of the story stuff. And a good bit of the side stuff, just not much of the uh, late game side stuff or, or the DLCs. I meant to do it whenever I finished the uh, PC copy of it, but like I said I haven't gotten around to it yet. I was actually playing 15 just a, a little bit like a month ago, though. Continued up my PC save, got a little bit farther. I'm only like a third quarter of the way through so far on PC, though. Let's go and find out, shall we? Which stuff was for the Golden Stables again? He goes to Eastpool, leave him in the park. Ooh. Mary, has this thing always been glowing? Wait, has it not? Do they just start glowing when we get close to them? Bruh, I want some stew. It's very red. I'm assuming there's a lot of tomatoes in it. And it's not like any of us lowborn can afford a bearer anymore. I wonder if we'll ever come across that bearer that we were nice to as a child. Forevermore orchestron rule. That must be a music thing for the hideaway. I think we found the whorehouse. <laughs> oh, man. Is it like taboo to sleep with a bearer or something? Sword from it scabbard in days. Come on. Come inside. Okay. What do you got? Anything interesting here? Anything catch your eye? Gaia Blade ma Bastard Sword, not Master Sword. Nope, just the same stuff. Uh, that's different, but Take care, nothing else new. All right, to Martha then. What do you got for us, Martha? Don't let the uh, Imperial Army hear about that. Undressing greens of... How'd they pronounce it? I don't know. Never down raw. Lespiter juices inspire violent retching and loose bows. 
Avoid the fry pan, lest foul stink taint the iron, rendering it none better than slag. By no means put to stew, lest the vapors overexcite stable bows. If suffer the fodder, one must first mix with nine parts drake's mint, six parts lemon peel, or three parts ginger root, and soak in honeyed wine for a quarter moon to lessen malodor. Okay, so <laughs> humans are not meant to eat a uh, gushy green. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Joke about food. The following cheatery will be repaid with a swift boot to the arse. Mucking, stacking, packing, peeking, palming, foisting, fingering. What? <laughs> Hold on. Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job, and he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. What he said. Make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. Your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the fallen gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you. And that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. Quest accepted. Let's go. Gotta get this bridge fixed. Before we do that... I am out of proper drink, and I'm getting hungry. So I'm going to take a quick break while I warm up a couple slices of pizza, and then we're going to play for at least another hour. Maybe maybe a little bit longer. I don't know. To be determined how much longer, but we're going to be playing more. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight... Sokolov left rocket development to become the head of the newly established design bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a design bureau, that's quite a success story. So why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Afraid? Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the west. Used the mole to get the family out first and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Then what? What's up, Chocobo? Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole Sounds legit enough. Him exhausted, 
and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. And it was only a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. The Cuban Missile Crisis. October the 16th, 1962, President Kennedy received word that the Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate range ballistic missiles in Cuba. The President demanded that the Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. But the Soviets didn't back down, instead placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. US and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out nuclear war. Frantic negotiations were conducted through the UN's Emergency Security Council and unofficial channels to end the hair-trigger standoff. Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba. And so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. You mean the one where the U.S. agreed to remove its IRBMs from Turkey? No. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in Turkey were obsolete, and we were going to get rid of them anyway. Yep. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. They wanted us to return Sokolov. You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. What the hell was he working on? At the time, we had no idea. We were running out of time. It was either give up Sokolov or risk full-scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. President Kennedy gave in to Khrushchev's demand. The next day, I got Sokolov out of the hospital handing him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov kept on screaming, save me, until he disappeared from my sight. Then a month ago, we received some new information from one of our moles. About Sokolov? Yeah, it might as well be a movie, yes. honestly. He was taken back to the research facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question under KGB supervision. What's more, it's on the verge of completion. So what kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? No. Missiles. Same technology. I guess you're right. We don't know the details, but it appears to be a new kind of nuclear device. For half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent nuclear tests at semi palatins Something to do with the weapon, I assume. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. Is Sokolov still in the facility? No, according to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yast, a place in the mountains about ah. three miles to the west that's known as... Try not to interrupt too much. The Virgin Cliffs. Nice name for a virtuous mission. They you should be able to. I was able to see it on my view, at least. Why? Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's our best chance to get him back. This mission would never have been possible if he was still in the research. It'll be so. uploaded to YouTube eventually. So this is our last chance. <laughs> must have known you can't get it from Twitch. Conference. You can get it from there. All right. Some people did some bad things. We need to go in and do stuff. Got it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. This, <laughs> these are more like maybe that's why um, the light it burns. Oh my god. Maybe that's why they uh, never made a movie of the Metal Gear series, because the games are basically already movies, man. In the messiest fucking hero ever assembled. Nice, nice. Holy shit, it is too bright. I'm turning off the Listen up, Jack. Your mission is Fuck. to infiltrate Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov, and bring him back to the west. What's the. Oh! We can we look first person. Very fancy. That is complete, we'll be facing a major crisis. The clock is ticking. Okay. So get Sokolov, save the world. Understood. Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. 
Couldn't make it any quicker. Feel like that's gonna be something we gotta deal with, man. We're gonna be getting attacked while that balloon's filling up. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat proof. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two six-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. Sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Home in time for dinner. But if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. Sounds like a good time. I was looking up the Metal Gear Solid 3 timeline, by the way. Or, I'm sorry, just the Metal Gear t timeline in general. Um, and Snake Eater, this one, is indeed the first one. I'm sure Chocobo told us that whenever we originally played it, but yeah, this game takes place all the way back in 1964, making it the first in the series. The other ones that we played, which was Metal Gear and Solid Snake, if I remember correctly, those ones take place kind of in the middle of the timeline. All right, we're back, and with food! I brought food! <laughs> Just a, a very floppy breadstick, but it tastes all right, so can't complain. Yeah, Nate, I'm good for D&D, as long as everybody's going to be there. If not, we can play some games or something. I'm always down for that as well. My god, food is delicious. I considered eating real quick before I started up the stream tonight. But I had just eaten like three or four hours before, you know, I got up from the nap. Um, so I didn't feel that hungry. Plus, you know, I had literally just woken up. But in the two hours since then, I've really grown a bit of an appetite. Now, pizza is not necessarily the most filling of things, but <laughs> it gets the job done and it tastes good. That's what's important here. Hmm. Went out to uh, Little Caesars. Got some Little Caesars pizza. Had it for the first time in my life. Like a week or two ago. Whenever I had to get some tests done. Where I was getting testing done was relatively close to one. And I knew Noodle liked it, so I told her we could get a, a pie. And uh, it's pretty good, honestly. I'm into it. I don't have any paper towels. So I'm using a tissue for... For a paper towel, because I don't want to get grease on my controller. <laughs> hey, it works. Okay. Building bridges. Fine Bernard. That's right. We're going down into... Was it the marshes? To the marshes, then. Yeah. Let's find that ladder. Down into the marshes. So we need to get Bernard to come back and fix a bridge so that we can make it to Rosalia. So... How... When did the... I've been talking to you. If there's anything you need, ask Martha. So when did the bridge collapse? Because didn't Sid just come through here? Because what's his face? Uh, Gav told us he was on his way to Rosalia. And apparently... Well, okay, I guess that's just the safest road to Rosalia. Excuse me. 
So there's probably another way to get to Rosalia, just not necessarily safe for a Brandon, which, fair enough. Hello, man being attacked. Come that on. was a lot quicker than I expected. Thought it was going to be a bit of a quest to find you, but no. <laughs> You're just right here, dude. Hi there. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around and I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, eh? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but uh, it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Slipped your mind or you were just avoiding it? Oh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. I'm sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. I'm sure she'll be glad to hear it. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, all right? But I was supposed to be in East Pool yesterday. Does this man even know what he's doing? No. Never fix a bit in his life. Ready for each pool, you'll have to wait. He's just winging it. Honestly, I saw him taking some scrap pieces of wood and just throwing it over the gap. I'd mind your step if I was you. It's either that though, or you're taking the long way around. So, take your pick. <laughs> Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They've nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. He can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. One meteorite? 1100 gil, that's not bad. Drink or anything while you wait. Flagging of imperial gold, perhaps. Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, 
Thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, there were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They have, I. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was, they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums, even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well. Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got a little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I. Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done. Bro, real, that's your own flesh and blood, my guy. Like, Jesus. You weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now, they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. They're literally magic. Like, I don't understand how this all got flipped on its head. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. This I guess just because they're useful? Part of this world. And I'd have you see it. So people with money took the useful people and turned them into slaves? I, like, I don't... Bruh. And we'll see it at an abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. Okay. Got a leather pouch. I don't think we've actually gone... Oh no, we've been upstairs. That's where... When we talked to her last time... She took us upstairs, and then we came down. Maybe you should think about pressing on. Oh, come on. Glademond Abbey, hmm? Where exactly is that? Oh, wait, has the bridge been fixed already? Or, oh, it's an elevator. That's cool. Didn't realize they had elevators. I knew that children were tested, and that a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. But for a child to be blamed, to be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way, did we? No. Because, yeah, I mean, technically, if they weren't royals, they would have been bearers too then, right? Because they were able to use the magic, it's just... They were part of the royal family, so they, they weren't bearers, they were just blessed ones or whatever. Chosen ones of the icon. Weird how that works.
Oh, so there's a shortcut there. I'm sure Sid would love that. <laughs> but I'm partial to kind of going the long way around here. Oh, I mean... Bro, okay, I'm going the long way around. Maybe. Yes. If I can find it. <laughs> it looks like it's over here somewhere. Is that a turtle? A megalo crab. Oh. Not as cool as a turtle, but I'll kill it anyways. That burning strike is like pretty powerful. It's just weird to me the way it activates, so I never think to really use it in combat. Ooh. That's a turtle. Yeah, you probably have a crap ton of health though. Ah, uh, actually you're not as bad as I expected. Wait, do you have water magic? Ow. Yeah, I'll put some damage, that's for sure. Get him knocked down. There we go, dude. Oh, time pauses while that's happening, too. Nice. Okay. You're not as bad as I thought you would be, I'm not gonna lie. Thought the giant turtle would have a lot more health. He got a weak spot on his head there? Make Yeah, he definitely does. Cause we were only doing like 43 damage when we're hitting his shell, but when we hit his face. 520? <laughs> Seems like the top of his shell is completely invulnerable to attack. Get wrecked, dude. More black blood. Any loot of any kind? Anything interesting over here? Because just black blood wasn't really worth that fight, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, there's a couple easier to kill creatures that drop the black blood. Hmm. I mean, there's something up ahead there, but it's probably just going to be a couple gill. Or crafting materials. I, I constantly do kind of forget about the crafting materials. I do kind of miss when you would just find equipment in the world. I'm a big fan of crafting systems, don't get me wrong, but... But it's kind of like... The choice between buying or crafting it and never finding anything cool in the world just kind of defeats the purpose. Oh, 
which kind of surprises me given that this is made by the Final Fantasy 14 team, right? Because, I mean, MMOs, that's one of their big things is grinding creature for loot and special drops and shit like that. Now, granted, I don't know how much that is in Final Fantasy XIV specifically. I've played it, but not to the end. Did that heal us at all? I'm not sure it did. Oh. <laughs> Tried to grab him a bit too late, I suppose. Oh, that hurt. Don't grab him. <laughs> what are you doing? Not bad. Three quarters of the way there. Get him down, get him down. He's done for. Aw, oh, damn it, we hit the shell. <laughs> okay, we got 761 health. Yeah, it seems almost like the healing it does. I wonder if it's just the same as like the dog, where it doesn't actually heal your current health pool, just up to whatever the, the light green is, or whatever, dark green rather. I was thinking it would actually like restore some of your maximum health. Are those are those chocobo? Bruh. What is that like blue green one? That one looks sick. Are they passive? Surely the chocobos won't be aggressive mobs, right? Bluebird. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> well, get wrecked some chocobo. Right? I mean, they're always seen as kind of, like, cowardly, right, Chocobo? Like, wanting to run away and stuff, so... I just thought it would be kind of like the antelope, where whenever I got close, they would kind of run from you or something. Or perhaps there would be some mechanic where you could capture them, raise them, breed them, something along those lines, but... No luck! Didn't even get any cool loot for it. Just bloody hides and black blood. But the fact these chocobos drop black blood, again, <laughs> just proves my point that fighting the adamantine isn't worth it. it that isn't worth it. Like, some black blood from that thing that takes a couple minutes to beat? 
for Black Blood from a Chocobo that takes seconds to beat. Oh shit, you're still alive. It might have just been the blue bird that gave us the black blood. Now that I'm looking at it though. It's like we just killed a couple there and all we got were sharp fangs or bloody hides. But even then, assuming, yeah, there's another one. I was going to say, assuming the bluebirds aren't all that rare, it's still not that bad. Oh, you're seen as a larger creature, so we can't even snare you. Let's just be a rarer drop because we got two that time. I guess that is something, like one possibility I didn't really consider. Is that like MMOs, or I mean honestly even a lot of RPG games these days, it could be that like these random mobs can give you some really cool stuff or something larger like the Adamantine, but it's just really rare. I don't actually know how the loot tables work in this game. I'm not going to start a fight with that thing unless it tries to start a fight with me. This is closed off, right? Yeah. Okay. See if we can just get to... Nope. <laughs> I was going to say, let's see if we can just get to where we're going without aggroing any of these dudes. That's a big no. Oh, damn, I completely missed. GG me. Okay. To the quest giver, or quest ender. <laughs> Gladamon, Gl Gladamon Abbey, to there. <laughs> that's that's where we're going. I don't think there's e even anything left alive over here for us to deal with, so it should be a pretty easy run over. It is becoming more and more obvious that you're completely right about no reason to explore in the game. I'm so tempted to like look up stuff about the game, but I'm worried I'll get spoilers at the same time, so I haven't. Cause like I've seen, you know, videos pop up for like how to get the best weapon in the game and you know, things like that. And it's for those sorts of things that I always feel the need to explore every nook and cranny. But for all, I, for all I know, it could literally be pointless throughout the whole game. 
Like, I'm thinking as long as we do all the side quests, it's probably fine. And the little side exploring stuff is only going to be really for, like, extra levels. So that we're not too under-leveled at any point. Not that... Excuse me. Not that we have been yet, though. I mean, we are currently level, what, 20, 21? And the creatures are 19. So I assume we're roughly right where we're meant to be. And creatures give such pitiful experience. Dude, 24... We need another 502. So for a group of like... So it's like 8 XP each roughly? <laughs> for the spiders at least? And we need roughly... What? 7, 800 per level at this point? I guess it's not that bad. It just takes less experience than I expected per level. Really. Oh, I, I was trying to run to the other side of here to see if there was anything over there. Game said no. <laughs> You're not allowed to check over there. Good try, though. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you. We came to offer a donation from Martha. I see. Then please follow me. I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. Thank you. The light. It fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can, for the time they have left. Is they turning to stone to crystal the curse has taken them all of them as it does every bearer forced to use their gift with each draw on the ether their bodies petrify till all that remains mm. is stone and pain and so they are cast aside there is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that. But we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Maybe that's the difference between people Her blessed by the icons and then just normal bearers. Again and find the happiness. Still doesn't excuse turning bears into slaves, but... Thank you, Father. That makes the scene in the beginning of the game a lot darker, though, now, knowing what happens to them. I offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Uh, uh, 
their final moments may be moments of peace. Because we talked to that one guy who was forcing the bearer to fill the wells using his power instead of the crystal that was floating right above it. Like, no reason to cause the crystals to dry up when we have perfectly good bearers right here, sort of thing. It's like... Uh, next you see... Uh, pray tell her that two more have succumbed. Knowing this is what you're driving them to, dude? Like, why not just use the freaking crystals? I guess when you see something as less than we human, you don't really care, rest. but... Yes. We should. Thank you for bringing us the physic. Would that we were not so reliant on Martha's kindness. But I fear we would have naught to soothe these bearers' woes without it. Save a prayer to a god that is not their own. So do the different regions believe in different gods? I would have thought everybody's gods would have just been like the icons, basically. Or um, what they call... The things that... <laughs> I don't know. Whatever created the... Crystals slash icons. Oh, that's Torgal. For a second I thought that was like a small cow or horse or something. <laughs> I was very confused. Creatures respawn? One appear to have. There's probably a fast travel point back there, but we'll just run it. It's only a couple hundred yards. It's not all that far if we don't dilly dally. Cross the bridge. And we're basically there. Up we go. Hey, you guys made it on this time. You didn't have to be teleported in. Oh, she's fixing her... It's not really a dress, is it? Whatever the white thing is. Is it a dress? I guess it's kind of like a dress. I thought she was, like, healed over from exhaustion or something. Trader of trinkets. I don't think we can talk to you, can we, now? The map will show us. Yeah, no, only one shop here. A scress. A <laughs> skirt dress. A shirt dress. Skirt dress. Scress, yeah. It's like a skirt on one side, dress on the other. <laughs> Just half and half. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift. So they strip them of their humanity instead. Is that what it's actually called? A high low? Plenty who pity a bearer's plight. For so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. No, side to side. And so you lend Sid your strength. See? It's long on one side, short on the other. Have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours. Aye. They're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. 
All I can do is care for those who have passed mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bonard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. That really wasn't all that long at all, was it? Sid and I have other friends in your area. Wear this, and they'll know you for one of us. Hey, a slumbering chocobo! And Another seal, eh? Will always be welcome here. Is this just what every little town in the uh, on the island uses for? You were right, Sid. I completely lost Lady my train of thought. <laughs> and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Their secret little symbol to say, hey, these are part of the... Not necessarily resistance, but the good guys. Love how, like, everybody just seems to be carrying around bloody hides all the time. They couldn't at least wash them before they start handing them out? Clean them up a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Gonna have him over here looking like a Boy Scout. Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. If you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. <sighs> I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> Try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. 
<laughs> I, I'm sorry, man. Oh, <laughs> I wish it was a little bit louder, but like... <laughs> I'd have to, every time anything happens, I'd have to adjust the volume up or down. Because it's either going to be in the red or where it's at. <laughs> like, <laughs> the audio, like, it sounds fine playing it. But it's definitely, like, it's very movie-like. Where uh, things suddenly get much louder for, for effect, essentially. <laughs> like... For dramatic effect. And then calm scenes are just much, much quieter. Don't you worry about them boards. I use good solid lumber. It's the base on the other side you want to be careful of. Martha said the blight. What audio setting did I pick? Uh I do not remember. It's probably here. There isn't an option. <laughs> it's just volume, and that's it. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have, like, you know, speakers or TV or headphones or whatever, like some games do. So it's just on the default. I mean, we could ta turn down, like, the effects and the music a little bit. And then maybe turn up the master volume or something. But that's still not going to help on... Because, like, sometimes when they're talking, they just get much, much louder as well. Like... Yeah, exactly. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. Oh, that said Gloom Widow. For a moment, I thought it said Glue or Goo Widow. But see, like, right here, suddenly it's it's hitting the yellow. It was only getting up to about, in that cutscene, like negative 40, negative 35-ish decibels. It's hitting negative 20. <laughs> Already. And it's not as loud as it gets. It gets as high as like negative 15 at times. For reference, you start to peak around negative 10, <laughs> which is roughly where I have my, my mic set to, to get to. When I'm talking loud, when I'm talking more quietly, obviously not, but. Bro, like, can we just not fight you? I just want to grab that, and then I'll just go around you, if you don't mind. I don't mind fighting these smaller things, but that thing just takes too long to kill. Also, GG me for that miss. More sharp fangs. Cool. Oh, shoot. There's... Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> I didn't see there's quests. Um. Okay. We're going to go here and do that quest first. I wonder if there's going to be another crystal up here somewhere. Like another fast travel point. Because I would love to hit that first and then go back. And get the side quest that I missed. Ah, I mean, that makes sense, I guess, right? Because now the, the townsfolk accept you. So they're more willing to take your help, I presume. There is another one. 
See, I don't mind the level-based design that they did. But, like, I feel like this could have been much more open, you know? Whenever you go from world point to world point, instead of having so many narrow corridors, I feel like they could have just let you run through a larger section of the map to get from point A to point B or something like that. I think that would have been one decent change to the game. Oh, not you. You. Oh, got to sneeze. <coughs> oh, bless me. Ray Claws. Damn it. Lunge hold. There we go. I imagine it would work with this too, right? If we do that and hold. Yeah. Uh, it's it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. <laughs> Let's see what this quest is. You there. Over here. Hello, hunter. Are there hunts? I wonder if there's a Excuse hunt board me. we can get eventually. That lady yours. Oh, curse my luck. A branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait. That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You in the Marfers, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me to you see you then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Laid out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We'd made them mean instead. I know someone like that. You, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? For a thousand gil? You got it. All right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if it's safe to come across. All right. Off you go, then. Oh, we'll prioritize it. Oh, it's literally just right here. <laughs> I don't think there was much chance of us missing it anyways. Starving wolves. I feel bad for killing starving creatures, though, like, regardless of the situation. You only get health back if you kill something with it. Maybe that's how it works. We didn't get any back that time either. But it could still be what I was thinking, where it's like the lighter green when you get hit. It will only heal that portion of your health. That's a possibility as well. So I'm not crazy, right? It did say... Summon a mass pillar of fire that burns all enemies caught within the flames while also partially restoring Clive's HP. Yeah. Deal damage to all enemies within a large radius while healing self. Heal amount is determined by current HP regain indicated on the life bar in faint green. Okay. Yeah. I didn't read that before. Hmm. So the only way then to restore like your normal HP... Would be to use a potion or get some rest or something along them lines.
Come on, go down. Get him, boy. I don't know if we got that hit in before he regained or got out of stagger or not. Shit, wrong button. <laughs> I hit L1. <laughs> I meant to hit uh, L2. Or R1, rather. God, I don't know what I'm talking about. Screw it. Get him. Really? <laughs> I didn't do shit. Mentor main. That's going to be a crafting ingredient for sure. Well, for like upgrades. To make new weapons. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> like a main ingredient. And now that we've gone out of our way a little bit. Guess we can deal with these guys. Then head back up to the bridge. Let's make this quick. Seriously though, everybody should be extremely well fed in this world. Unless you can't eat these creatures for some god awful reason. You, Bryce. What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? Oh, Frederick, you wily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, Bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to the master. Only too happy to, happy to help, good sir. The thousand gold certainly didn't hurt anything. Sadly, it's not looking like there's any other crystals. So I'm going to run back to town. Or actually, can I just teleport back? Never tried. Yeah, okay. I'm not usually a fast traveler in games. You probably won't see me do it too often here. Outside of like the world map where you have to. But, at least now I know how it works that you can. I'm assuming from anywhere as long as you're not in combat would make the most sense to me. Now uh, this one's closer, so we'll start it first. Excuse me. To find him before the Imperials do. Can't talk now, I... Oh, you're Clyde, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, mm. one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? 
Yes, sir. Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right. You don't send a bearer. Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. Good to know there's still plenty of dicks around here. <laughs> Hate to see too many good people. Because he's back that way. There is a hardly difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? Don't suppose you want us to go around the same area? for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. But it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed it. All right, eaten it, but 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 only might have you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there, nasty buggers. Them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry. There, there there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say. The ladders right over there. The creatures usually take to eating crystals. Is that is that a, is that a common thing here? Okay, so one... Let's do this one first, since it's up top here. I assume you're the man we want to talk to. You're the only one in the area. You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. Okay. So we go here, swoop around, or... Actually, we can just go here, around, and then up. Yeah, we'll do it that way. I mean, I guess it doesn't particularly matter which way, but since we're already halfway across the... Across the bridge there, might as well go this way first. I see that blue glow over there, and I'm so tempted to go grab it, but I mean, I just went through this area and grabbed them all. It's not worth it. <laughs> Especially if they just respawn all the time. Because if they're constantly going to respawn, then you know it's not going to be anything good. It's always going to be like 5 gil or a potion or some sort of basic crafting mat. Like... A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. Someone made sure work of them. Someone was Norris. Presumably he was a cell sword. All the other guys were. Ooh, I missed a chest or do they respawn too? That's just bloody hides. Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You a 
never burned it. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in bearers. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And... Sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. I've been called worse. Oh. I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But... If I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. A bear without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. Only to be betrayed by a friend. Cold, dude. Seriously, though, how are you going to do that? Like, <laughs> That's some deep-seated hatred for bears to turn a friend in. It's not like he has a brand that he's been hiding and could be discovered. Well, I mean, I guess if he slips up and uses the magic or something, he could be discovered anyways. But, dude, <laughs> like, you could just claim innocence and you'd probably be fine. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it depends on who... Who catches him using magic at that point? Because <laughs> there's certainly some people around here I don't think would care one bit. Oh, there's more, isn't there? Yup. <laughs> okay. It wasn't just them two. Good job, boy. This must be it. No point spending any more time down here than I have to. That then. Back up we go. fishmonger's thing. Use the lantern to, I guess, probably claim Norris is dead. Well, any luck? Yours, I presume. Bow crystal. A thin membrane of fetid muck covers this crystal, which, still in its holder, otherwise appears undamaged. I thought it was actually like a different kind of crystal. No, it's just gross because <laughs> giant crab ate it. Any longer out in the sun and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. There was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. 
Yeah, let's try not to have that happen, eh? Seem like decent enough folk. Would ha I hate to see you begging on the corner for a few gill. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean, I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. I only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm sure your life will go on, my guy. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really... He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Ah, oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. Twenty old experience. Let's go. <laughs> that all of them that is all of them all right guys it's 9 30 oh i think that's where we're gonna have to call it for the night uh what is today monday so tuesday and then wednesday i don't know for sure but uh there's a decent possibility we'll be playing either tomorrow night or wednesday oh hello Can we breathe oh which reminds me i figured out why i couldn't hear last night when Bo was being bred and things. Are they heart eyes? <laughs> they are. That looks weird. <laughs> um, I had my my computer set to play audio through the TV. Um, Ugh, I'm assuming you were trying to get a different kind of eyes, not the not the heart eyes. But anyways, no, yeah, like I was saying, either tomorrow or the the next day, we'll probably be playing some more. Um, just because I want to play more of the game. I don't know for sure, though. It depends on what myself and or Noodle are doing. So, to be determined, but uh, I will keep everyone updated on Discord. Try to let people know at least like a half hour, hour before if we do decide to do so. But until then, guys, I hope you have a good night. I need to remember to save. There is an auto save, but... Or at least I'm pretty sure there's an auto save. But either way... Yeah, so right save data. Okay. Anyways, yeah, no, having a good night, guys. I appreciate you all coming out and hanging out with me a little bit while we play some Final Fantasy 16. Um, and until next time, be kind to each other, y'all. Bye-bye. I mean, it's the same snake, right? It's just snake from before, from a while back. Which I guess explains why, like, that dude was ordering us around like we were at nobody, because... <laughs> <laughs>